Hello friends, welcome back again. Today in this video, we are going to solve this interesting algebraic problem. This question has been asked in Chris Math Olympiad. So today in this video, we are going to discuss how to solve this problem. So any one of you who has not yet subscribed my channel, please do subscribe the channel and do not forget to give thumbs up to the video. Now the problem here is the given expression is here and they have mentioned that x, y and z are integers number. Then we'll have to find the value of x, y and z. Now for solving these equations, we'll multiply both sides by 1997. Now here we'll multiply by 1997 by the left hand side that is 13 divided by x square plus 1996 by y square and that is equal to 1997 multiplied by z divided by 1997. Now we'll simplify it. It is 13 multiplied by 1997 divided by x square plus here 1996 multiplied by 1997 divided by y square. Here the numerator value and denominator gets cancelled. So that is equal to z. Now here in the question they have mentioned that x, y and z are integers means z is an integer. So for the value of z as integers, the value of this term, the whole term should also be integer. The whole term value should also be integer only and this term value should also be integer. Now if you look at 13 and 1997, these are prime numbers 13 and 1997 are prime numbers. So these numbers will only divisible by 1 and this number only. Now for making the whole term as integer, this whole term as integer, the value of x square, the value of x square should be 1 only because no number other than 1 is divisible by the prime numbers. Because there is no other numbers other than 1 which will be exactly divisible by this prime numbers. And now for the second term that is divided by y squares, again 1997 is a prime number, it is a prime number and the another value 1996 we have 1996 it is divisible by 4 now if we divide by 4 we will get 4 4 just 16 remaining 3 36 9 again 3 and 9 so we have 499 so we can write 1996 as 4 multiplied by 499 here again 499 is a prime number is a prime number so the value of y square so now we can put the value of y square as 1 or for is so that we can get the value of this whole term as in integer. So I hope this is clear to everyone. Now for the value of x square as 1 we can take the value of x is equal to plus minus 1. Likewise the value of y will be value of y will be either plus minus 1 and for the value of 4 y square is equal to 4 the value of y will be plus minus 2. So here we have 4 values of y and 2 values of x. Now for calculating the value of x, y and z, we will erase this. Now in this equation, we will put the value of x and y, then we will get the value of z. Now we will put the value of x, y and z in tabular form. Now here if we will put the value of x as 1 or minus 1, the whole term value will be same. Likewise, if you put the value of y as plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 2, the result will be same. Now for first time, if we will put the value of x as 1, then the equation will be 13 multiplied by 1997 and here x square means 1 square is 1 plus now for this value 1996 multiplied by 1997 that is divided by 1 means we will put the value of y plus minus 1 that will be 1 only then we will calculate the value of z. Now from here we can take 1997 common and remaining will be 13 plus here 1996 that is equal to z now the value of z will be here 1997 multiplied by now we'll add 13 and 1997 it is 2009 and now if we'll calculate the value value of z will be 4 double 0 double 1 9 7 3 so here we have taken the value of x x as 1 and y as also 1 so here we have taken the value of 
1 and 1 it is also plus minus 1 so plus minus value will be same and we have calculated the value of z that is 4 double zero double one nine seven three now we'll put the value of x as plus minus 1 plus minus 1 and the value of y will be plus minus 2 so plus minus 2 then we'll calculate the value of z we'll calculate the value of z here now in place of x we'll put 1 that is 13 multiplied by 1997 divided by x square 1 square is 1 plus here 1996 multiplied by 1997 divided by so now for the value of y we'll put value of y we'll put plus minus 2 then here the y square will be plus 4 only the value of y will be plus 4 only that is equal to z now we'll calculate it it is now we'll simplify it is 499 times so now from here we can take 1997 common then the remaining is 13 plus here 499 that is equal to z now the value of z will be 1997 multiplied by 13 and 499 is 512 so if we we'll calculate we will get 10224464 now for the value of x as plus minus 1 and y as plus minus 2 we have the value of z is 10224464 so friend these are the value of x y and z we have calculated here these are the value of x y and z so friend these are our answer so this is one type of diophantine equation so friend if you like the method of solving this type of problems then share my videos amongst your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching the video